In this video I will share a full tutorial on what you need to do to start an Etsy shop with Canva templates as your digital products and all the steps you need to take to make your first sales and many more after that. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Lydia and on this channel we talk about social media marketing for business and how to make more money online. So if you're interested in these topics, make sure to click the subscribe button below. The first thing you need when you want to start an Etsy shop and you want to sell Canva templates is to pick a niche for your shop. I do not recommend selling Canva templates in every single possible category, but rather choose one or two types of templates that you want to focus on because you want to be an expert at that when you create those products. For example, you can choose Instagram templates and create that for multiple niches. This can include different types of templates such as post templates, stories templates, Instagram Reels covers templates, Instagram Reels templates, highlights covers, caption templates, hashtags for different types of businesses, and much more. Once you've picked your niche and the type of product you want to create, it is time to research the type of product you want to add to your shop before actually adding them. And for that, I suggest going to Etsy and using the search feature to find out what people are searching for. You can type in Canva Instagram templates and then you will see a few things like for nutrition, for travel, for weddings, and much more. Then I suggest using a keyword tool such as Sales Samurai that you can try for free for three days using the link below to give you a few more keywords that people are searching for on Etsy, their competition and more keywords and tags that you can add to your listing to boost it and to make it rank in search. Sales Samurai will help you determine if the keywords you are trying to target are worth targeting. So you'll be able to look at this competition, look at what other Etsy sellers are pricing their similar products, look at how they optimize their listing title, their tags, their descriptions. You will see how many sellers are selling a similar product, what keywords you should use in your Etsy tags, and how many people actually search for that product monthly on Etsy. Write down a few ideas of Instagram templates you can start with or any other Canva templates that you want to create, and then you can start creating the product in Canva. And I will show you how to do that right now. To start creating your Instagram templates in Canva, you can use the size that they have available for Instagram stories, for example. But first, think of what you want to offer in your product. For example, you will offer 50 templates, 100 templates, how many do you want to offer? Now the templates you are creating depend on what niche you're creating them for. You can create for example stories for influencers, for photographers, for different types of businesses, coaches or more. My advice is to focus your product on one niche. Now create each story with the client in mind. What would they post to their stories to attract their audience? You can use frames, free graphics, text, fonts, and brand your entire pack with a color palette and make them unique. Definitely do not use Canva templates as a base because that is illegal and you're not allowed to sell those. Make sure to start from scratch. Also, don't go on Etsy searching for different types of stories and copy their designs. That is also not nice and it will ruin your creativity. Make sure to look at a few templates, maybe on Pinterest as well, maybe on Instagram, and then have a blank image in front of you and start creating from scratch by adding different elements, switching their place, trying different things. So I will share a few examples of templates that you can be creating for your stories.
After creating your templates pack, it is time to download those so you can have them ready for your Etsy listing photos and create those in Canva as well. You can also start your Etsy shop with the 40 free listings that you see in the description below. When you're featuring these stories in your Etsy listings, make sure to also mention how they can be used, what types of niches they're good for, and explain their benefits to the people that are purchasing them. For example, saving time, you have a bunch of templates that you can post daily on stories and much more. Once you've created these templates, you will click on the share button and share as template or get the template link. That link you will include in a PDF file and you will share with people to get these templates here and they will be able to click on that link and get a copy of your templates. That PDF you will add to your Etsy listing that you will be creating on Etsy. And now I will show you a few things that you need to add to your Etsy listing for your digital product. Next, you will also need to optimize your entire Etsy shop to fit your brand. That if you want to get more digital product sales. I share exactly how to do that step by step in this video right here. And you will also need to learn how to utilize keywords correctly for your Etsy listings to add to your titles, description and tags. And in this video, I talk all about Etsy SEO and how to rank in search. So make sure to watch that next. So there you go. This is how you create social media templates in Canva and sell them in your Etsy shop. If you want to grow your Etsy shop and grow your Etsy sales, make sure to follow the playlist below because it will teach you how to use Etsy teams for more likes on your listings, how to make more sales and much more. If you've enjoyed this video and it helped you out, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe down below for more such content weekly. You can also follow me on Instagram and on TikTok at Lydia.IncomingSuccess for more content on growing online and making more money. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video.